It was a fork in the road for Lisa Flamian, the day police say a mentally ill man shot and paralyzed her brother, Baldwin police officer Michael Flamian. Stay in the field of mental health or leave it. New tonight, she takes our Christine Byers along the path she chose. Five years ago, Lisa Flamian's brother, Officer Mike Flamian, was shot during a routine traffic stop. When I look back on those days, you know, there were some very dark days. How do we move forward? How do we push out of this? Police say Antonio Taylor shot Flamian, paralyzing him from the neck down. He's been on a ventilator and in a wheelchair ever since. Um, and I think my brother has handled it very gracefully as well. Oh, he just took off. Lisa Flamian was just starting out in the mental health field when her brother was shot. I really did almost quit uh, counseling. I didn't, I, I kind of felt like, what am I doing in a profession where, you know, is this an epic failure or can I do something differently and make this, this more successful for people? She dug her heels in, determined to make a difference. This man was is obviously very sick the case um, and how many interventions had okay. missed or okay. failed for him. Today, Lisa is the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department's first ever mental health coordinator. People get picked up, um, you know, they're taken to the hospital, they're kind of this revolving door. Hospitals are jails, right? Um, so I want to stop that cycle and get folks the real treatment, the real help that they need to prevent those things from continuing. Sheriff David Marshak has asked Flamian to identify people who interact with his deputies likely because of a mental illness and connect them with services. Marshak also wants her to help deputies cope with what they see on the job. Her personal experience gives her instant credibility. You know, uh, it's a family tragedy for them, of course. Um, I think maybe she's more passionate as a result of it. And ultimately, we're going to be the benefactors of everything that she brings to the table. Her brother couldn't be more proud. And what does it mean to you when she says what happened to you is her inspiration? It's awesome. It's kind of a, a deeper emotional thing with it being my sister. Um, to know that something that, that happened in our family is what inspired her is, is really neat. Flamian knows it's not going to be easy. The biggest uh, hurdle I face is um, getting people to understand and trust me in that level that I'm not here to take you to jail. I'm not here to take you to the hospital. I'm here to get you some services and get you the help that you need. She keeps a picture of her brother on her desk. When I'm having a uh, crazy day, I just happen to see his smiley face. So and it, it kind of gets me through all the things I need to push forward through. Christine Byers, five on your side. And Michael Flamian has chosen a new path of his own, devoting time to a nonprofit that helps first responders in times of crisis. To learn more about that, you can read Christine's full report on KSDK.com.